Hey everybody, this is Kelly, Vital Vessel. I am doing a whiteboard session today, Introduction to Rhythm Basics. This is my first whiteboard session. But somebody asked me about rhythm and I find that I'll try to implement and teach what I'm learning from music theory and music school. Why is rhythm important? In short, rhythm is beat. It's a heartbeat. Whether you're sight reading, playing by ear, creating beats with musical technology, Rhythm is important to know. It allows one to understand music at a deeper level and be in sync with others. It also allows one to create a different, differentiated style of music. In turn, communicate different emotions in music. If everything was a whole note, life would be boring. If you hear noise behind, noise behind me, that's my dog. All right, so let's get to it. This is my whiteboard and we'll begin with showing a note and parts of a note. So we have, let's begin with, I'm gonna grab my notes. Let's begin with showing this. That is way too big. Okay, so back to the paintbrush. Let's begin. The note, I'm gonna draw that. This right here. That's a stem. Uh, undo. That's a stem. I'm gonna type it in. So this is the stem right here. And this right here this right here, bam, this right here is the head. Some notes will only have a head, some will have stems. Now, another part that we'll be discussing today is a flag. The eighth and sixteenth notes, even 30, 30 second notes, has a flag. This right here is the flag. All right, so we have the different parts of the notes. Sometimes a flag can look like this, or that's the 32nd, three flags. One flag, two flag, three flags. So a stem can go up or down on a musical staff. All right, so now that we've gone through what parts of the note there are. We're going to look at different types, different types of notes. So one second, let me type this in parts, parts, the anatomy of notes. Okay. Then we have Block it off with sections. All right, so now we're going to move to the different types of notes. And when I say different types of notes, I mean the length. Okay. So we'll have start with a whole note. Nope, let's do the paper. A whole note. Whole note is an open oval. Okay. An open oval. Then we have an open oval with a stem that's a half note. Okay, then we will go to a quarter note.
That, uh-uh, no, chill out, chill out. We have the quarter note. Next we have ghost. Next we have the eighth. Let's do it right here. That's the one with the one flag. And then we have the 16th with two flags. I'm gonna move this one down. Cause I need writing space. So we have the eighth. And then we have the 16th. Okay, so when we have these whole notes, there's ways to break them down in counting. So we have in writing, in theory, we have whole. I'm going to type it out. Whole. One, two, three, four. I'm going to separate those by dashes. That's the whole, all the four notes are in that one, that whole note. Then we have the half, one, two, three, four. One dash two, three dash four. One, two, three, four. And this is four, four, meaning four, four beats in a measure. If it was a whole note in that measure, it would be one, two, three. Half, one, two, three, four. Now we have the quarter, it's all separated. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's separated. Then we have the eighth. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and uh, four and, okay. For the 16th, 1E e and 2E e and 3E e and 4E e and 1, 2E and 3E e and 4E e and, uh, four e and uh. so I'll get more into the nitty gritty of that part. So that's the different types of notes, the lengths of the notes, and how to break them down. Now, I want to do the counting. I want to show you a demonstration on the piano. So we have one, the rhythm, three, one. For a whole note, we'll do Now we have half. Same. One, two. One, two. That's half. Now for the quarter. Alright, now we have the eighth. One and two and three and four. So. Same thing. This ah, don't subdivide in hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do the 16th. This is just demonstration. One E and a one E and a two E and a so. I'm gonna slow this down a bit. One, two, I'm doing four, four. One, two, three, four. That's the 
demonstration on the piano. I want to do some clapping rhythm. So when you can, I was taught that when you can, let me turn this up on. When you can say the rhythm and clap it out, then you'll be able to play it. So whole note, one, two, three, do it with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna draw it out on the staff paper as an example. So four, 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 uh, wrong thing. So four, four, right? Get my paintbrush. Four, four is the time signature. So, bam. It's just sloppy, but it's okay. So, for the whole note, it will look like this. Let me just make it simple and neat. I'm going to do everything on the C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. This is all whole notes, right? I'm going to write the counting down here. two, three, four. So the next one, this is a treble staff, treble clef on staff paper. So the next one will be still four, four. We're gonna do half notes. Remember, a half note is an open oval with a stem. So, the cool thing about this, each of the measures have to equal four, four quarter notes. It can be written differently, but it has to equal four. It has to equal what four quarter notes would equal. Like two and two. And that leads me to the rhythm tree. So we'll get to this a little bit later. Well, no, let's just finish this part. Four, four. Right here will be quarter notes. Remember, a quarter note is. A closed in circle oval with a stem. So you can have four of these to equal four, four. So for now, that's how it's going to look on staff paper. You can have a total of a whole note. You can have two notes, two half notes, or if it's, or it's equivalent. And you can have four quarter notes. It can be different. It's, it doesn't always have to be the same. So. This leads me to the rhythm tree. We're going to start with rhythm tree. Rhythm tree, let's do it. We start with a whole note, right? That can be divided into two half notes. Let me make sure. I want to make the sure these are neat. That can be the half notes can be divided into two quarter notes. And this is important because even those four 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 quarter notes, four beats for four measures, they can look different and they can fill up the spaces. But within all of that they whether you have this, this, or that, they have to equal this count. There will be this count. Four, 
a quarter note breaks down into two eighth notes. And each eighth note breaks down into sixteenth notes. Okay. And so on. Okay. So, on the whiteboard, we have a lot. I think I'm going to break it down, do some demonstrations to tempos in the next video, because this video is reaching almost 15 minutes. For now, this is a, an intro to rhythm and how can it can be implemented in counting and on, in counting by ear and by writing it on the staff. All right, this is Vital Vessel, Kelly Wells, and this is all I have for you today. This is my first video, so I'm learning as I go. Peace out. But I'm willing to share and take you on the journey of what I'm on. Peace out. Much love, much peace.